Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shiv and Reach. I'll be doing my five star predictions. So this video was supposed to go out way earlier, but I never really got to filming it until right now it is end of February. So love that for myself. And for this video, I have about 10 books that I really want to get to. A lot of them are actually series, and I contemplated about doing a separate five star predictions series version and then another version for just standalones but i was like the chances are i know that i'll be struggling just to get through reading the books in this video that i was like i cannot do two that's just like too much for me so i really want to film this video get this video out and then do a follow-up video at the end of the year and see if my five-star predictions have been right or not so the first book that i'm really hoping is a five-star read is the first book of crescent city and that is house of earth and blood by sarah j mass and this one i think comes out on march 3rd i did mention this book already in my most anticipated releases so i will link that somewhere above but i am so excited for this book all i know about this book is that i'm gonna do like a half fae half human it's an adult fantasy and I just have not read a book by Sarah J Maas that I didn't like so I am really hoping that this is a five star read. I already pre-ordered it because I was like I need this book in my life. So this is the first book that I am really hoping will be a five star read for me. Then the second book I have on here is The Well of Ascension by Brendan Sanderson. This is book two in the Mistborn trilogy, the first trilogy. I read the first one and I loved it. I don't know why I just been hesitating to pick up this one. I think it's just because it's a kind of a chunky book and the first book was not the most action-packed book ever and I believe the second one has more like a political aspect to it which I'm like yes for it but also like no for it because sometimes it works for me sometimes it doesn't and while I love the first book I'm like a little bit hesitant about this book but at the same time it is Brandon Sanderson and I haven't read a book from him that I don't like yet so I'm also hoping that this is a five-star read for me. This one and the subsequent book which is somewhere in my room couldn't find it for this video but this book and the next book are both five star predictions for me as well oh, by the way for those who don't know this book basically follows a magic system where it's about metals and ingesting certain types of metals gives you just certain different types of powers and if you're able to utilize all the metals and all the powers then you are a misborn and the first book follows a girl called Vin who is a street urchin and then she ends up meeting this guy his name is Kelsier I believe and he is this seasoned street kind of like thief gang person whatever and so the two of them end up meeting and doing some sort of heist and it was so flipping good i loved it and this one is hopefully as amazing as the first one the next book i have on here is red hood by elena k arnold this one is a retelling of red riding hood and i've heard i'm just like so excited for this book i think just like from that one person who i had talked to way back when she just made this book out to be so amazing so ever since then i've just been looking at this book and being like this is a five star read for sure even though i haven't really heard too much from other people and i'm basing most of my assumptions for this book on that one person but i believe in that person okay and so i am really hoping this is a five star read for me as well oh my god then the next book is one that i am so excited for and that is king of crows by libra bray this is the fourth and final book in this diviner series and my god like i loved every single book in that series and i've been waiting for this final book for the longest time it technically already came out back in january like end of january i don't know why i haven't picked it up yet to be honest because it's the final book like once i get through this book i will be done with the entire story and maybe that's why i've just been a little bit hesitant about it but i love the series i love the characters i love the romance like for those who don't know this is a historical fantasy set in 1920s follows a group of teenagers who all have some sort of like magical powers and they end up finding one another through various different means or whatever and as the book continues there's like all these paranormal activities these mysteries these like romances like all these things and it was just so good like i just uh, like i think i had to listen to the audiobook for this one because the first three i also listened to the audiobook and they were so good like whoever did the narrator did an amazing job with the slang during that time period all the different accents the characters like everything about the narrator was phenomenal and i highly recommend if you haven't picked up the series to pick it up as an audiobook format it was so good the next one that i'm also hoping will be a five star read is the last two books in the series and that is days of blood and starlight as well as dreams of gods and monsters and i read the first one i want to say like a month or two ago now it was so good like i am actually so impressed and so shocked because i actually did try to read the first one ages ago i listened to an audiobook gave it up after i don't even know like an hour or two hours something like that and 
couldn't be bothered to pick it up. But then I read her newest series and that is The Stranger Dreamer and I fell in love. So I went back to the original series which is this series over here and I read it physically this time and I loved it so much. I love the magic, I love the characters, just like everyone is just so complex and complicated and they all have their own struggles and oh my god it was just such a good book and I'm really hoping that these will also be a five star read as well. The next book that I'm also hoping will be a five star read is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Yes, I have not read this book yet. Yes, it's been out for a very long time now. I don't know why I haven't read this book yet because I have it somewhere. Um, I don't know where. It's somewhere in my boxes. It's not all fully unpacked yet. And I just heard really good things. But I do kind of think I want to pick up an audiobook because I've heard that the audiobook narration is really good. If I'm not mistaken, it's a full cast. And because of the way how the book is set up, it's a bunch of like interviews, etc. Like a lot of dialogues. So maybe an audiobook will be the better format. But I've been a little hesitant because I've also heard some mixed reviews. But I love The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. That I am really hoping that this will also be a five star read for me as well. And then the next book that I have on here is also a series. And that is a fifth season series by N.K. Jemison. I have not heard a single bad thing about the series at all. All I know is that this is a like a sci-fi fantasy series. It follows the fact that the world keeps ending over and over again and that the people have somehow managed to kind of expect it and they're very good at trying to move past it. You know like it's a dystopian again and again but then they keep going past it again and again and it's really like a very good like survival apocalypse type of book and it's supposed to be really good so i'm really hoping that i will love the series as well okay then the next one is one that i'm like ugh, i don't even know why i haven't picked up this book yet or this series and that is i don't even know what the series is called but the first book is lady midnight by cassandra clare guys this series i finally got them all i got all the books recently so which means i can actually pick it up soon it just hasn't happened yet but once I do, I feel like I will fall in love with the series. I've heard that this series is probably one of the better ones, like one of the best ones yet. And I read pretty much all of the books by this point. And that I am so intrigued. And I don't know why I haven't picked up yet, but I will. And this will definitely be a five star read. Like, I just can't see why it wouldn't. Because I just want to know more about the Shadowhunter series, Shadowhunter world, and find out more about the characters and the romance. and. I'm just excited guys. Then the next book that I have on here is A Scythe by Neil Shusman. This is for the entire series as well. Oof. This one I've heard so many good things. I recently got the toll which therefore means that I can finally pick up the books now and I'm so excited. All I know is that this is like a sci-fi dystopian where death no longer exists in this world. Like we have evolved so far in advance that pretty much anything can be cured and the only way people have deaths now is from these sites who basically go and curb the population because they don't want overpopulation and so the book follows like two apprentices who they're basically trained to be on sites and apparently site is also a job that's not well beloved because obviously it means death and i've heard so many good things and i'm so intrigued by this concept as well then the last and final book that i have on here is one that I still haven't read it yet, but I'm thinking about doing like a whole vlog on it, but I don't know, maybe, maybe not. And that is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. This is another one where I have some really high hopes for this book as well. I've heard so many good things about this book, about the series. It follows a girl called Mia who is an assassin and kind of just follows her adventure or something like that. I don't really know too much about it, but she's supposed to be a daughter of an executed traitor and she ends up being apprenticed to the deadliest flock of assassins in the entire republic. The red church to be honest i just really want this book to be a five star read that way i can be with everyone when it comes to talking about this book because i don't think i know anyone who has read this book read the series and not liked it like the people that i talk to most often so i'm excited and this is the last five star read on here and i'm hoping this will also be a five star read like i have high hopes that a good portion of these if there's like maybe like one or two that i'm like I'm a little iffy but like I have hopes that it will be a 5 star read and hopefully it will be but we'll see. But anyways that is it in terms of my 5 star predictions video. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and were they 5 stars for you as well. If they weren't um, don't let me know because I don't want to be put down but at the same time though maybe sometimes that works too. It's like reverse psychology where you tell someone that's not good they go with bad expectations or low expectations and then they'll be pleasantly surprised 
maybe that'll work too so if you didn't like it let me know as well as always that's all to say for this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe down below don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye